In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Pro Tools Intro. We'll look at how to set Pro Tools to use your audio interface, how to name your Pro Tools sessions, how to add and use audio, instrument, MIDI, and click tracks, how to import audio files into Pro Tools, and how to use the mixer and adjust the tempo. First, we'll make sure Pro Tools is set to use your interface. Navigate to Setup, then Playback Engine. Select your interface in the Device drop-down menu. If you're a Mac user, your Focusrite interface should be listed by name. If you're on Windows, select Focusrite USB ACO. If you currently have a session open, Pro Tools may give you a warning that your session will be closed while you change these settings. Accept this and continue. You should now be set to use your Focusrite interface with Pro Tools. Once we've set Pro Tools to use your interface, we should also set up the inputs and outputs properly. Open the I.O. menu by navigating to Setup, then I.O. From here, click the Default button in the lower part of the window. Then, head to the Input tab at the top of this window and select Default again. To name your session, within the Pro Tools dashboard, navigate to Create or the template within Getting Started that best suits you, and the option to enter a name for your session will be visible. Now that we've created our project, We'll look at how to create an instrument track and adjust the volume of it to a suitable level if needed. To make our track, head to Track, then New. Click on the drop-down for track types. This will be labeled Audio Track by default. Under this drop-down menu, select Instrument Track. To adjust the volume of this track and others, hold click on the box which reads Volume and drag upwards or downwards to raise or lower the volume respectively. Another way we can adjust the volume of our tracks is in the Mix window. To open this, select the window menu at the top of the screen here and select Mix. From here, sliders on each track allow you to change the volume as needed. This also acts as our mixer. To change instruments for our instrument track, we will also use the Mix window. To do this, all we need to do is add our instrument as an insert on the instrument track by clicking on these empty insert slots. Note that this menu will also list all of our effects plugins in different categories. You should be able to find your virtual instruments under the instrument menu. If we want to delete this track, simply make sure we have the track we want to delete selected, navigate to the track menu and then select delete. To add an audio track, we'll click on Track again, and then click New. Audio should be the default option in this drop-down menu. If not, click it and select Audio. Then we'll go ahead and click Create. The volume is adjustable with each of the sliders we mentioned previously. And again, to delete this track, simply have it selected and navigate to the Track menu, then click Delete. We can add a MIDI track with the same process we used previously. Head to the Track menu and click New. Select the Audio drop-down and click on the MIDI option. Much like the previous tracks we looked at, MIDI tracks have adjustable volume. We can also delete the MIDI track via the Track menu. To add a click track to our project, we can add a new track with the same process as before. Select the track menu, and then New. Select the track type drop down, which is labeled Audio by default, and head to the Track Presets section. From here, select Avid, then Utilities. The track menu should now have changed to a simple layout. In our other menu here, which should say Clear Track, we'll select Click. There are options for Block, which is the default, and MPC.
we can change the tempo of our project very easily through the edit window. There are several ways to do this. In the edit window, we can double click the red triangle on the tempo ruler to open a small window, which we can use to alter the tempo. This can be done through typing or clicking and dragging the number, then clicking OK to close the window. The default Pro Tools Edit window layout also features a small panel at the top where the tempo can be adjusted by clicking and dragging on the number, or double clicking and typing in a new tempo, like so. To import audio into Pro Tools, we can use a number of methods. On both Windows and Mac, it is possible to drag and drop audio files into an audio track in the edit window, which will place the file into that track, or into the empty area below your tracks, which will create a new audio track for your file, like so. If you'd like to manually import audio files into Pro Tools, you can do this by navigating to File, then Import, then Audio. If you're using a Mac, you may need to press the button to hide options the first time you do this, and also allow Pro Tools to access your files. In this window, navigate to the file you would like to import and click the central Convert button, or Convert all if you have selected multiple files to import. Once you've done that, simply click Open. Pro Tools will then ask where you would like to save the converted files for use within the project. This should default to the folder you created for your current project, so just hit OK. Your files should import. To enable input monitoring for a track, Click on this button on your track in the edit window. By default, it should say no input. Open it up and select the input you want to use. After the input is selected, we can toggle monitoring on and off by pressing the I button on the left side of your selected channel. After the input is selected, we can toggle monitoring on and off by pressing the I button on the left side of your selected channel. The I button will also turn green while monitoring is active. If you've had any issues, don't hesitate to contact our support team at the link below.